Hey y'all, it's Day and I'm back um, with the update on the new house. It's been about three weeks since we moved in and I wanted to just show you guys some of the stuff that we have set up and talk to you guys about my ideas of decorating and give you an update on what it's been like living together since these videos are doing really well. I'm actually excited to like, you know, sharing like my actual life. Like I talk a lot about hair, but y'all, unless you like follow me on like Snapchat or like Instagram stories and like look at the actual stories, you guys don't know um, a lot about my actual life. So, um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm currently in the loft. Um, oh, disclaimer, disclaimer. We're only three weeks in. We are not finished packing. Everything is not set up. Everything is not clean. Um, so yeah, don't don't troll me. We're getting it together. Hopefully we'll have it together by the end of this month. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead. It's currently not set up yet. Um, debating on getting a TV up here or selling that, not quite sure. But this is gonna be the loft area. So this is actually a pull out, not pull out, but the back of the couch, like right there, folds down. Um, has storage under there as well. So this, you have guests come over. This is gonna be their area to come like sleep, stay the night. I'm assuming it'll be somebody like we have like a little gathering, somebody get drunk, stay the night type of situation. This is where they will be at. And this is upstairs. Um, again, we are not finished. There's all of King's clothes, the cat stuff. I got a bag right there, trash right there. We're not finished, but um, yeah. Next, I'm gonna take you guys into the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. Got Daisy's crate up here with us. Um, dresser, dirty clothes already. This is the bedroom. So um, my plan as far as the bedroom, King pretty much, whatever I wanna do here is, it, he just wants it, whatever makes me happy. That's the type of man he is, just whatever makes me happy. But I do wanna make sure that the stuff stays gender uh, neutral, so it doesn't look like it's just a, a woman's house here. So I decided to go with, I wanted to keep my bed set. I love my bed set, so this is the bed set from my house. Um, but to make it a little more masculine, I decided to go with a blue and gold theme. Um, this right here that you guys see, that is from that painting right there. Yep, that is from my apartment and I'm probably going to get rid of that and put some like blue and gold um, artwork above the bed. I was also considering putting some blue and gold artwork above the TV. Um, and I just wanna get like little blue accents. I need to get some nice blue decorative pillows, find me some more like blue comforters. Um, we're gonna try to see if we can find another one of these um, and put that right there. Not that King really needs it because he doesn't have a lot of clothes, but definitely one thing we're gonna get is a nightstand and we're gonna try to find and see if we can find a matching nightstand to that. And we'll just have to slide the bed over and it'll go right here. But yeah, this is the master bedroom, pretty satisfied. We're pretty much almost done with this. We just need to get Definitely the nightstand and get little like accent pieces, but I'm satisfied with how this bedroom looks. And I, I really like the space. There's Chevy, Icky hey, Cat. So in the master bedroom, of course, is our master bath. And this is our master bath. Um, the theme here, really just going off of the black and white because um, this right here actually was given to me by Courtney, the CEO of The Main Choice. It's a Versace piggy bank. Yeah, I'm gonna call this the uh, Versace trim, I don't know, it just went kind of went with the theme for me to so go ahead and match all of that. Again, with the socialite body essentials right there, because it match. This is the tub, it's a, I guess a garden tub. Um, I need to get, I just have some stuff sitting here, but I need to finish decorating this. My plan, I'm gonna keep my socialite body essentials here because it's black and white and it matches. By the way, this is a black owned company. Oh, and I will be tagging, really cat? She's so ignorant. I'll be tagging like where I got stuff from um, in the video. So just kind of pay attention to the little pop-ups. But um, yeah, I got a, I think this is called a bathtub caddy. So that when we take baths, we can just, you're disgusting. Well, I gotta clean that before she just scratched everything. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna decorate this up and um, 
We'll have fun with this with a little tuck, with a little like prop up. I can sit here and watch like Netflix and stuff. Um, also, we have candles. I have these at my old apartment and they just happen to be black, white, and gold and they match. So that is the tub. Then I have like my little like trinkets and stuff and this little gold thing on the side. That's the shower. It's pretty dark in here, sorry y'all. Um, I do wanna get a gold uh, shower caddy but that's, that's on my list, I have so much to buy. But anyway, moving along, let's go to the next room. So next room is my studio slash beauty room. This is my favorite room, even though it's nowhere near finished. Um, I have like my bookshelf here that I don't know if I'm keeping or not, it's from my old apartment. These are Lavandra's shades, typical black queen. I don't know if y'all heard of her. She's on YouTube, or not YouTube. She is on YouTube, Instagram. She's pretty dope. But um, yeah, so my theme for this room is kind of like tropical and glam at the same time. So I'm doing like fake plants. Again, this is a fake plant. Um, and gold. And then I got that over there with the gold accents. Uh, got my stool, gold accent. I'm trying to keep it neutral. And I'm gonna just do like, soft colors so my makeup is majority in here and my palettes oh you can see my fingerprints my palettes are in that bottom drawer don't really have nothing at top drawer yet um also i have these that were sitting on top of that but i took them off because i was filming so i'll probably get another like little stand and put it right there so i don't have to i can leave that vacant to like change up and switch as i do different videos but yeah, I love this room. The lighting is so good. I just love the lighting in this room. Look like the lighting is bomb in this room. And it's bomb all day. Morning. I don't know what it is about this room, but it's like the sun just hits it all times of day until it goes down. So yeah, this is my favorite room in the house because I can get dressed in here. I can film in here. I can do my voiceovers in here. I can come and chill in here. Might get me a little little itty bitty teak. Nah, I ain't on TV in here. I'm gonna make this a productive room. But um, yeah, so this is my studio, y'all. And because I know you, a lot of you guys care, this is where my products are. And I got my, in my old apartment, I had two of these and that bookshelf that you guys just saw, all of that was filled with product. But now this is, this is all the stuff I kept. So, and I have a couple things in this in this little box right here, like miscellaneous things, but I'm still not sure uh, how I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna get to put it in. Not rushing, just gonna take my time until I find something, but this is where my products are. Next room, this is gonna be our gym. We got a treadmill, but cannot get it up the stairs. So it's in the garage, so cardio will be in the garage until we can figure out a way to get this upstairs without taking it all apart. But this is still going to be our gym. Um, still haven't figured out the idea for that. It's probably gonna be the last one we decorate because it's gonna probably cost the most money. We wanna get decent, well, I mean, it gotta be like brand new or the best stuff ever, but we wanna get decent, you know, equipment. Um, so we've been looking on Facebook Market, OfferUp, LetGo, uh, Amazon, uh, for you stuff. Uh, there's a place called Play It Again Sports. I don't know if they're everywhere, but they have them in North Carolina where you can get like used gym equipment. Um, it's been kind of hard because the corona is keeping us trapped and we don't want to have in contact with uh, a bunch of people. So it's been a little difficult. So it's probably gonna have to wait until um, all this blows over before we start diligently looking because I'm also not trying to be meeting up with random people. This is the guest second bathroom whatever really ended up turning into my bathroom and chevy's bathroom um i come in here when i'm like filming and trying to get everything together i really this is the same like setup from my apartment the gold and the what is this teal turquoise chevy just decided she gonna come in every room as i go but um yeah so this is like the second bathroom and pretty much this is my bathroom my stuff is in here makeup wipes hair oil edge control pit and it's like right near my studio so now y'all we are gonna go downstairs um and i'll show you what we got going on downstairs so first up is the living room um and as you guys can see green and like mustard are my accent colors keeping everything else white and neutral there's that plant i was telling y'all about from prima nature hopefully i keep it alive it seems to be doing well but um yeah, gold, gold, mustard, gold, whatever you wanna call it, green. 
these are my colors. Even Daisy's little bed down here is that mustard color. Um, what I'm thinking as far as this room, I know I wanna get a, I was thinking to get a um, nightstand, not nightstand, another end table and putting it right there. But I think I wanna get like some kind of like gold, like, I don't know, shelf to just go up this wall, like a tall one, kind of like how that cart was in my office and put it right there. And yeah, that's what I think I want to go right there. Cause that's just a, such a big space. And I feel like it wouldn't take up so much room because it's like gold wire. Um, also want to get a coffee table to put somewhere in here. And I, I don't know if I want to get it white or if I want to get it like, I think I do want it white and then put like a gold tray on top or not gold, a green tray. So a white table green tray and then like gold accents inside the tray just to go along with the theme. I ordered some wall art off Etsy and it's like hexagon frames with uh, the frame is gold and then the backgrounds are white and then there's green stuff in the frame. So they're coming from Etsy, they're coming from China so it'll be a while before it gets here but that's what's gonna go there. Oop, out of focus, come on, there we go. That's what's gonna go here, those hexagon. Uh, frames and I'll probably get some kind of fake tree to come down here or something accent because there's this empty space right here where something needs to go. Oh, before I forget, I gotta insert a um, clip of like my stories, but we also found this cool idea on Pinterest where this, you guys can see, lights up. So at night we can watch TV, cut the fireplace on and then light that up and have like all the lights off and it looks pretty cool because you can see the light. You guys can see it coming from the bottom, but it comes to like the top and it's, it's just, that's just a pretty cool thing. It's like little like, this thing was like $16 to get this. Just like a cool $16 accent to like, up, I don't know, just make it feel nice in here. Um, next is the kitchen. This is the only room that is complete and I'm really satisfied with how it looks. So my colors for the kitchen are like, you guys see that wine and dine? That's like a copper rose gold look um, and green, that's it. So we're keeping with that white and that copper color. So this is copper, um, this goes with the cabinet. So I kept that, got the green up there. My friend actually who decorated my kitchen in my old apartment, she made this by hand. She like wrapped the wire around that, glued that on there, and then like cut the basket so I can have two of them. There's the other one. Um, they actually heard her husband made these. They uh, painted them. Um, yeah, that was a good investment. So I'm actually gonna hire her to go ahead and finish my living room so I can keep it looking like real, I don't know, nicely decorated. Um, there's my wine rack. She made that as well. She took an old wine bottle, put that in there, put the gold on, uh, uh, copper, rose gold, whatever you wanna call it on there. Um, she put the wire around the two wine glasses. I already had that and it matched perfect. My wine rack. Um, what else do I want to say? That's really it. I'll just show you guys all the different little things in here. And most of this stuff is either going to come from Amazon, the home store, or uh, what's the other place that we go to? I can't remember, but I'll, I'll link it in the description box where I have it like sitting here. And that's me. If you guys can't recognize, that's me when I have blue hair. Um, I thought that's pretty dope. So I made it. black on seasoning, get it right, Ooh, there we go, black on seasoning right there, and yeah, that is the kitchen, we also just got a grill yesterday, and we did, can y'all see that, nope, there we go, that's the grill. Did the damn thing on the grill yesterday. That was dope. I like seasoned and marinated everything. King went out there with his dad and they cooked. Oh my God, food was delicious. Yeah, that's gonna be our routine all summer. I'm gonna be marinating stuff and then letting him go out and grill. Need to get me some patio furniture now. I already got my bug stuff. That's for mosquitoes. We got spray. Just need some, well not patio, cause the patio ain't nothing but this big. <laughs> but need to get some like yard furniture. I think I wanna do black, white. There was like a setup in Target that I kinda just wanna recreate. Um, but black and white and green. 
You're gonna get like a little gazebo too to go out there. Moving right along, going into, this is supposed to be the dining room area, um, but this is probably gonna be just be our bar. We got a nice bar, already got the drinks up in there. Uh, still, those are the last boxes that we need to go through. And a lot of this is like decoration. There's not pots and pans in that box. I have reused the box in. Went back to the house and get some more stuff. But a lot of that is like decoration. So a lot of that is probably gonna get thrown out or given away. But yeah, that is, we're just probably gonna keep this like a bar, like entertainment area. I wanna figure out something real cute to do right here. I don't know what, but this will probably be like a, if we have like a party, this will be like the entertainment area. Also, there is King's puppy, yes. This big old thing is a puppy. She is only six months. You guys don't know, my boyfriend is a dog trainer and he breeds dogs and this is his newest puppy. Look at him. Spoiled and ripped. Look how big her feet are, oh my God. Wish out, Diana. Moving along again. Um, this is the last area I'm gonna show you guys, which is uh, this like study slash King's office. And I got a lot of, for whatever reason, people were like very concerned about the fact that his office is near the front door. I'm um, still decorating it, but the theme for this one is we wanted to do the gray because the floors were just throwing me off. The fact that the floors are gray or this like cherry wood color here, but then when you go over here, it just jumps to, uh, what's that Daisy? It just jumps to gray. So I definitely wanted to um, tie that all in. So he has this gray floor, white chair, and I just put like a bunch of like different like earthy colors to kind of like tie it in. Um, bookshelf, we're waiting on him to get his books so he can load his books up. My books are there. Um, that's it. We're gonna get some more like quotes, like hustle and all that stuff to be put on this wall. Um, he got his chair set up, printers over there too. It's a little junky behind here because he gotta still put some stuff together. But um, I don't mind walking in and seeing this. This looks just fine to me. I like how it looks. It looks like we, we doing some shit in the house, like we professional. Yeah, that is it for the actual tour of the home. Um, I'm gonna sit down now and talk to you guys about how we've been adjusting and what it's like uh, living together. Cause uh, people were, when I did like a Q and A on uh, Instagram when I was born one day, a lot of people were asking about um, living together and how that is. So I'm gonna park it and then we'll talk. All right, so as far as living together, things have been pretty easy. Like I mentioned in the previous video, um, Pretty much every day we were seeing each other uh, since since we've been together, pretty much every day. I would say like about 90% of the time um, we see each other like every day. Um, I was spending the night with him, he was spending the night with me. Um, so living together has just like made it more convenient. And y'all please excuse that banging around and if you hear any whining because I shouldn't have went over there to show y'all that puppy because she's over there crying now. But um, it's been pretty easy. It's just, a, it's just like things have been like way more like, I don't know, like, uh, what's the word? I don't know, it's been like just easy, like things, convenient. Things have been very, very convenient. We don't have to go out of our way now to like see each other and like do stuff together. Nobody's like, the sacrifices that we were making to like do things have reduced. So things have been very, it's been a very smooth transition. Um, what, I don't, I don't really have a lot to say. Things are like pretty good. I mean, like everything's been going really good. We have like a good routine. Um, we did sit down and talk about like chores and like, I guess roles. Um, and we just came to an agreement with that. When you're dealing with somebody where you're not always like having like butt heads or like fight and you just like, I want to make him happy. He want to make some, he wants to make me happy. So when we like, when it's time to like establish things or like have discussions about like what we're not happy with, both of us want to please each other. So things have been like really easy. Like an example was um, right now I've been doing majority of the cooking, which is fine because I'm, I excel in cooking. Um, he's going to be doing all the outside stuff. So I mean, stuff like that kind of balances, but I just wanted it to not be a situation where I'm 100% responsible for feeding us. That's not what I want to do. I just feel like it needs to be balanced. If I'm working, like even with like, if we have kids and stuff, like if I'm like working full time, I don't want to come home and be like the sole provider as far as food. And I don't want to be the sole provider as far as parenting. I don't want to, that's just not, 
I don't feel like that's balance. If we're both working full time, then it needs to be a balance in tasks. So what we decided with food was, um, and we got a grill, so it's gonna make it easier because he likes to grill. Um, and he's really good at, look, we grilled for the first time yesterday, and oh my God, that food, I'm trying to say that, that food is so good. So we got a system with the grill. So what we decided is when we meal prep, we'll continue meal prepping together. Um, and then like on nights like we've been lately, cause we're like all like doing, we're all, like not all of us, but we have a stay at home order and we're, he's working from home full time now with his job, um, his main job and I am teleworking. Um, so I'm working from home uh, like anywhere from two to three days a week. Um, so what we decided was um, on like how it's been now, I don't mind cooking, um, you know, like two or three times a week, but they're neat, cause we eat leftovers. So if I cook once, that's one day that we can eat the leftovers. Um, so what we decided was at least one or two, depending on how it goes, one or two nights a week, he is responsible for the cooking um, or he needs to go buy food. So, um, but that's, that's what's working for us. I feel like a lot of people worry about like roles and like finding a balance, but I used to worry about that. Um, and people express that concern to me and I'm like, don't project your negativity over here cause we good over here. But I feel like when, when you're in a relationship and both of y'all just really want to make each other happy. It's not all about like, uh, oh, I got to make sure I'm good. I mean, like we really are genuinely concerned and want to make each other happy. Um, and when you are genuine with it, you're genuinely concerned and you genuinely want to make someone happy. You don't, and it's mutual. That's the thing. It has to be mutual. I feel like you don't have to worry about like being taken advantage of. You don't have to worry about like, I don't know, you just don't have to worry about that, like, whole situation or, like, what if I'm giving more than I'm getting? Because I feel like we are so balanced. Like, that's just, I'm going to keep saying balance, but that's, like, the whole thing of our relationship. Everything is, like, a balance. If I don't have it, he got it. If he don't got it, I got it. And it's, like, it's not, like, a tit for tat. Like, it's, it's just not like that. I just feel like we're so balanced. And that's one thing I want to keep and I want to maintain in our relationship. Everything is just balanced. What he's not good at, what he's not the best cook. Um, but he's willing to like, okay, well, you know, if you season it, I'll, I'll grill, which I don't mind going through marinating something real quick and he's responsible for going to cook it. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do upstairs floor. He's going to do downstairs floor. What else did we say as far as chores? Oh, he's, I'm going to keep the kitchen clean. Um, because I'm going to be doing most of the cooking anyway. And he's going to be manning all the outside. So, um, he used to have a lawn care business and he still had his equipment. So, Went and got the lawnmower yesterday. He went and bought a, a weed eater yesterday. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's just all about balance. Everything has been good. I don't even have a lot to say about the transition. It's just been easy, it's just been good. I just wanna keep on the path that we're going, like building foundations. Um, I don't know, just, just keep building. Like, I want to keep building, like, on our relationship. I want to keep building professionally. Both of us want to do that. And the end goal is marriage. That's something we talk about all the time. So, I know a few people who are trying to troll me about living with a boyfriend. But it's, it's, it's fucking 2020, y'all. Don't nobody, you're not about to affect me in no way, shape, or form. You're not about to throw the Bible at me. It ain't going to hurt me. When people shack up. It is what it is. I would never move in. Or I would never get married to somebody that I'd never live with. You don't know what, the, that person could be nasty as hell. And it's because when you come over their house, it's clean. That don't mean that they maintain it. People clean up when people come over. So I ain't, y'all can miss me with that whole, you shacking up? Like, yeah, yeah, we're shacking. And if it don't work, it don't work. People break up and move on every day. I'm gonna be real hurt, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, people, I mean, it's life, life happens. You, you live and you learn, you get over it. It's not gonna be the end of the world. I'm still young, I still got enough bounce back in me. I ain't, I ain't pressed. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour, this little chit chat at the end. I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot to say. I think I will do like an actual Q&A so I can answer specific questions, but things are so good. I don't have any like juicy tea for y'all. Things are just good. I'm excited. I'm excited about content. Like just on every level, like moving was just like a beneficial thing for me. I love my setup. I'm about to have like different areas to you know film in now so it won't just be me in that white background and or me in that um bookshelf y'all used to see so yeah thank you guys for tuning in if you want more vlogs give me more ideas in the comments eventually um i will integrate king but no time soon i'm not ready for that he's not ready for that so i'm not rushing into it but make sure you guys are being safe 
out here with this quarantine. It's, it's getting pretty serious out here. So you guys just be safe, wash your hands, keep your hands out your face, quick touch the shit. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. I got more videos coming for you guys. Bye.